Cotton mouths are venomous snakes in the South U.S. Coming across a cotton mouth can be scary, but as an animal expert with lots of experience handling snakes, I know for a fact that cotton mouths don't chase people, at least not with the intent of chasing them. But if you go to any post about cotton mouths, there are dozens of comments of people who swear on their life that they've been chased by a cotton mouth. So what's going on here? If cottonmouths don't chase people, what's with all the stories? It all has to do with how we interpret their behavior. Let's take a closer look. I'm going to go over two scenarios. One, a cottonmouth moves towards you on land, and two, in the water. If a cottonmouth is chasing you on land, it's probably going for a hiding spot behind you, or it thinks your legs are cover. Have you ever tried to catch like a cat or a pig or something, and then it darted in between your legs to get away? That's what the cottonmouth is doing. It's going in your direction, but it's not chasing you to attack you. Now, if you mess with it, a cottonmouth might strike at you or go a few feet as a bluff, but they won't pursue you long distance just to bite. Now, if you're in the water, Water, the cottonmouth is swimming and it's probably tired. Cottonmouths can swim towards you if you're in a boat or on a dock or on shore because they think you're a log or something or they see the shore and they want to take a break and get out of the water. But they are not swimming towards you to attack you. Stop typing that comment. I'm not done yet. Look, here's two things you've got to understand about cottonmouths. One, venom takes a lot of energy to make, and cottonmouths need it to catch food. They don't want to waste it on a predator, especially not you. I mean, look at yourself. Damn. They only do it as a last resort, so they almost always choose to bluff or run away instead of biting. They'll open their mouths up wide, hence the name, and can enter a strike pose if you get too close, but they'll only bite if they feel cornered. Two, Cottonmouth vision is not that good. It's okay, but not great. They're also not very perceptive, at least compared to lizards, birds, and mammals. You are also really big compared to a cottonmouth. And what I've realized from experience is a lot of small animals like frogs, bugs, and snakes legit don't understand that your head, arms, and legs are connected. It doesn't register. They think that each limb is its own thing. If I'm standing over a bug or frog, I can move my hand closer and they won't react until I accidentally stumble and then my foot moves because it's right next to them. Imagine if you had blurry vision, were kind of dumb, and were standing right next to a hundred foot colossus. Would you really be able to tell if the foot, hand, and head were part of the same creature? That's also why snakes might go toward your leg to avoid your hand or your head. They think it's like a tree stump or something. And in the water, they might not understand that you and the boat are the same thing. Especially because cottonmouths also have heat vision. Your head might seem really hot while the boat seems really cold. The short version is they're always looking for shelter or places to rest. On top of all of that, it might not even be a cottonmouth. You might be dealing with a harmless water snake. They're really feisty and like to bite. I made a video on how to tell the difference. What animals in nature content should I cover next? Follow my channel and let